Guru Nation, what is up? What's up, Daisy? How's it going? It's going good. Daisy Villanueva, like, very diligently filling out employee self-assessment. She's giving you McLean Control A+, plus, like, five-star reviews <laughs> beyond the five-star. Okay. In all seriousness, guys, we've got an IMV. The title of this video tells you what it's about, okay? Follow-up letter. So this video is how a coordinator follows up, for lack of a better word, to a follow-up letter. So did you read this? I'm going to put you on the spot. Um, if it's from the previous, <laughs> yes, I did. I did, okay. From her first one, from her first, this yes. is from her first IMV. Takes them about a few weeks to get these yeah. things out to you. Right? She, she takes a little longer. Well, it's not her, so she does it. It has to go to her manager. They go like three or four rounds of revision. Mm -hmm. That takes like a week right there. Then the sponsor has to approve it. Maybe another few days. Mm -hmm. Then she has time to do a follow-up letter. Mm -hmm. So she can't like, because I used to do CRA too. So yeah. it's it does the the turnaround time from from the CRA is like three days for the first revision. But by the time the coordinator gets it, it's been like weeks. Wow. Yeah, there's a lot of work going into these things. This mm -hmm. is why a lot of series quit their it jobs. It makes sense why it takes a while then. <laughs> that's right. That's right. I mean, think about how long her report was. If mm -hmm. this follow-up letter is 12 pages, this follow-up letter is 12 pages. Mm -hmm. So the report must have been like 30. Mm -hmm. That's why CRAs quit their jobs. And that's why they can't keep them at the CRO. That's another podcast, though. You're getting me sidetracked. <laughs> the, there's too many topics, right? Yeah. So now it's your job. You're the main CRC for this study to go through the action items. But, mm -hmm. you know, here's what. Is this the first one you've received, like, ever? No, this this that's the second one, and there's one after that one as well. The one after that one, she just had one follow uh, one action item and that, what, that was it. I think. Oh, okay, okay. But like as a coordinator, this is like at your previous job, you didn't. No, I didn't deal with that at all. No. Okay, so it's very common. You're gonna get a lot more of these. Mm -hmm. So the first part you can like ignore. Well, like, really, the important part is um, it shows you what visits like she actually reviewed. Mm -hmm. But it gets to like deviations are important, mm -hmm. and then if SAEs are in here. Those are important. We didn't have any SAEs, I don't think, um, no. for the study. No. So they're not going to be in there. And then action items. So it's a lot. And we have, without getting into details, we've had, let's see, new deviations. This is going to make us look like a bad site. I'm telling you guys. Oh, looks like our patient's our patient here early. Here. <laughs> we'll be right back. Patient's gone. Where do we leave? The deviations. Yeah, so we have a lot, actually. But you were asking... Uh, you know, how does it look if we have deviation? Well, it's never a good thing. But some studies, the way they're designed, it's unavoidable. And as long as we are not too far off from what's norm for most sites, uh, these CROs usually have metrics like average of three deviations a patient, mm -hmm. right? Or average three deviations a completed patient. So if we're at... 10 a completed patient that's bad right but if we're like at one or two or even like five five would be a little high if you're doing it for every patient but you get the idea mm -hmm. like they they track everything yeah. so the fact that we have some of these actually i'm looking at them are not they're just errors so post dose vitals were acquired orally not temporally that's yeah. a typo yeah. Because we did it temporally, so that's not a deviation. Um, subject was dosed prior to lab results being reviewed. So this is going to be common. We were just talking about this. This is a fast-moving study. Mm -hmm. You've got two visits a week. You've got labs. The lab's got to come back if you miss FedEx cutoff time. And there, all this stuff can happen. Yeah. So this is going to be a high-deviating uh, study. With the 50-plus exclusions? Yeah, you bet. Yes. Way to, th <laughs> way to throw that in there, Daisy. All right. Daisy's getting good at this stuff. Okay. <laughs> the next one. Subject missed visits due to vacation. So that's fine. Deviation. Mm -hmm. Those kind of things. So far, everything's been minor. Um, 
the dosing one you could argue is not minor but it still is uh, here's another more missed visits um, here's another one dosed before results were available another one another one here's out of window here's something that we did that that we did it in addition to what the protocol asks mm -hmm. we didn't have to technically it's deviation ECG collected when not required I mean I guess it's a deviation you could argue it's standard of care whatever the, the those are minor the one that's the only ones that are like not minor are the dosing the patient prior to labs mm -hmm. which we've corrected now we just had a visit we actually had to skip the dose mm -hmm. because of this very issue so uh, and then more it's maybe we have like 12 no we have like 15 deviations uh, rescue med more than four days in one week you're only allowed to four we know that right now now we're gonna not allow rescue med use more than four days in one week um, but this is more of two weeks not one week the time frame so I would have to argue back on that one uh, and this was one patient that was overusing rescue meds I think I know who that is <laughs> yeah so this patient was not even randomized, right? I don't know, they were, yeah. So that's a IMV, then you've got, those are the deviations, we don't have any SAEs. Now you have a bunch of action items, so uh, CRC to <clears throat> make sure we have calibration records and tempo logs. Mm -hmm. um, here's another one, the CRA did not review rescue med during this visit, which they want to review the ones they returned? Um, no, I think what what she meant is she she wanted to know how many we had on site. Oh, okay. I, like I, I followed recorded. up with uh, in an email. Okay, oh, okay. Um, and then these are like file things in the investigator site file. Uh, site to upload site initiation confirmation letter mm -hmm. pi to sign all confirmation and follow-up monitoring letter that's new yeah most studies don't require that but in this well, case she did tell me that the confirmation letter said it needs to be signed she told me that oh okay and um she said that we could either have it in the isf or on, on creo sign on creo either or so yeah. we, we don't have to do it upload them or have them on both okay you can just upload them to creo and have him e sign them on there um yeah that'll work yeah. that'll work okay so maybe that's what we'll do um these are just the common things you'll get at your missing protocol signature page for a certain amendment which has got to be in there it's just not uploaded. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing. All uh, of those, um, I think they're all resolved by right now. Everything resolved yeah. already. All these thirty plus yeah. things, GCP certificates to be filed. Yeah, that's all done. For Jaime and Jocelyn, mm -hmm. we'll get Jocelyn on the next video, guys. <laughs> and that's it. So, all in all, that's a like a um, typical IMV follow up letter, mm -hmm. and. You said you responded to everything. Yes. Like you received it. What did you do that day? You followed up. Um, not that same day. I kind of did it a little bit over time. Um, just kind of prioritizing, you know, the visits and, and all that. Since I have some time for her to for her to do her next IMB, so I just kind of spaced my time out. But it's all done. And now the, the most important thing is we've changed some behavior from some other things like not dosing prior to getting certain lab results yeah. done. Mm -hmm. yeah. So monitoring visits still are good and 
the follow-up letters are being responded to in a timely manner. I didn't realize we have to have PI sign them, but he can do it in Korea. Yeah. He, he would love that. All right. Anything else? No, that's pretty much it. All right. Looking forward to the next one. Looking forward. Wow, amazing. Okay. <laughs> like, subscribe, comment, share. Thank you, Daisy. Everybody go connect with Daisy right now. Your followers are going up, huh? Through the yeah. roof. Yeah. Through the roof. Each one a new spike. <laughs> Each video. We do like a video a month. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's a good pace. All right, Daisy. Yeah. Go follow, all right? Like, subscribe, comment, share. Bye-bye. <laughs>